All of us men have a desire for greatness. God desires to bring us up out of the mud and the muck we are in and to move mountains, to walk on water, to be great. There are places that I've learned more and more about Father Capon where I felt that he almost reached into my life and spoke a truth to me as a man that's taught me to be a better father, a better husband, a better worker, and a better man. The world gives us a really strange view of love, that it's all about what we feel. Uh, we look at the man, Christ, hanging from the cross. I doubt that he had a lot of you know, butterflies in his stomach going, oh, you guys are so great, as he's hanging there. Uh, while at the same time, that was the ultimate act of love. So when we talk about love, I think that it's often misplaced, but uh, with a proper frame of mind, uh, it becomes the most manly of virtues. I think as men, we are so fearful. You know, how's that gonna affect me? How am I gonna look? What status am I gonna lose? What's that group of friends gonna think of me? And, uh, and so I think it's imperative that, that we be courageous. And, and I think sometimes it's uh, courageous is thought of as running onto a battlefield and pulling a guy off. It's certainly that is like courageous at the nth degree. But I don't think we're talking about courage like that. But if you're gonna be a Capon's man, you understand that we are called to bring hope to every situation we enter. There was something about him that, that just said hope, faith, hope. He built up your faith and your hope by just being there. Our Pope, Pope Francis, certainly has consistently challenged us to be missionary. And as you learn today, you're going to see that Father Capon himself wanted to be missionary. And he found himself in a different way, on a different missionary journey. The, the, the true foundation of a missionary is a call to serve. And I, that's what Father Capon did. And I think you know, we're, all, we're all called to be missionaries. We're, we're all called to be evangelists at some level. God will put the people and situations in front of you. You don't have to do any of the heavy lifting. You don't have to do any of the work. But what you do have to do is you have to slow down and be receptive to those experiences that are about ready to come at you. The virtue of hope, as we've all seen, is a tough virtue because you live in a world that is contrary to everything this virtue calls out in us. We saw the stories of Father Capon, where moment after moment, we're in the first world, that story is the same thing.